Welcome back to our uh, series of Holy Week devotions. And if you want to go get your Bibles, uh, we're going to be reading again from the Gospel of Mark. This time we're going to be reading from chapter 14, verses 3 through 9. Chapter 14, verses 3 through 9. I'll give you a minute to go get your Bibles and you can read uh, along and talk about it uh, a little bit later. Um, but the cross uh, that I want to share with you uh, tonight is this particular cross. You know, when you think about the image of the cross, the symbol of the cross, it is absolutely hideous. Uh, the cross was an instrument of murder, uh, like an electric chair or a noose. Uh, it's an absolutely uh, brutal um, image to have as a symbol of our faith. Uh, but this particular cross is also very beautiful. It's intricate. Uh, the design on it is uh, really quite striking. And it seems like an appropriate cross, the mixture of that which is ugly and um, barbarous, uh, but also that which is beautiful and delicate. Uh, this story, uh, the one from... Matthew chapter 14 is called the anointing at Bethany and it raises the question of what is beautiful and what is ugly and what is repulsive. Um, so this is Mark chapter 14. This takes place uh, the day before uh, the Last Supper and uh, Jesus is at a house in a little town called Bethany just outside of Jerusalem. While he was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as Jesus sat at the table, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment. And she broke open the jar and she poured the ointment on Jesus' head. But some were there who said to one another in anger, why was the ointment wasted in this way? For this ointment could have been sold for more than 300 denarii and the money given to the poor. And they scolded her. But Jesus said, Let her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you, and you can show kindness to them whenever you wish, but you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for its burial. Truly I tell you, Wherever the good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. The woman in the alabaster jar is an amazing story, but it provokes two completely different responses. Uh, this woman comes into the house of this man named Simon the leper, probably somebody who had been healed by Jesus when he was a leper and he wasn't a leper anymore, people wouldn't be going to his house. And this unnamed woman comes into the house and she brings the most expensive, the most valuable thing she has, this jar filled with ointment, nard, perfume. Uh, just a little of it, like any perfume, would be sufficient to create a beautiful aroma but she takes the entire jar, breaks it open, and pours the whole thing over Jesus. People see what she does as being ugly, disgraceful, wasteful, terrible. Everyone sees it that way except for Jesus. Jesus sees what she does as something, it says here, good, but the Greek word there is beautiful. Appropriate. Jesus sees her offering of this, uh, his, her anointing of him with this perfume as something that is truly uh, uh, something that's appropriate and to be emulated, uh, being extravagant for God, giving our very best, pouring ourselves out, uh, worshiping Jesus with everything that we have, the very best that we have. Jesus doesn't see that as wasteful. He doesn't see that as ugly. He sees it as beautiful, as something appropriate. Now, he doesn't say that 
we shouldn't care for the poor. In fact, we should pour ourselves out for the poor. He simply says that the opportunity to show kindness and to serve others is always going to be there, but we don't always get the privilege of giving our very best to Jesus. So as you gather at your table tonight, you may want to ask one another, what have we done as a family or as an individual that maybe others would say, gosh, that was wasteful, or boy, you could have used that money in other ways that would have, maybe would have been more enjoyable for you or more pleasurable, but you did it as an act of devotion. You gave yourself, you poured yourself out, or you gave of your resources in a way to build the kingdom and to bless God. How have you um, given of yourself in a way that would make Jesus say, wow, that is beautiful. Let's pray. God, as we move through this holy week, we remember the extravagant act of love uh, that you showed us when you went to the cross. In such a horrible, horrible way, you showed us the most beautiful love the world has ever known. Help us, God, in a similar fashion to be willing to give of ourselves, even if everyone else doesn't see the beauty in it. We know that you will. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.